Hello internet and welcome to another Anatomy Bites. In this one, we're gonna take a look at the frontal lobe. So hey, welcome back to another Anatomy Bites. Hopefully you're enjoying the previous videos. Don't forget, I am currently running for Texas State Rep 127 out here in the humble Kingwood Atascocita area. And I can definitely use your support. If you check down below, I've got links to uh, both my campaign websites. I also have a link to the video of the guy I'm running against, Dan Huberty, who was caught in Austin, um, well, doing stuff he shouldn't be doing. Uh, the link to the video is down below. I gotta warn you, it's not safe for work. So if you're gonna watch it, be sure to have earphones in. Anyhow, to get to why you're here, which is the frontal lobe. So before we begin talking about the frontal lobe, let's get a little background so we can put this in context. First of all, we have something called the central nervous system. Now, again, all of these, I go into more detail in the anatomy and physiology lectures, but this one, we're just focusing on that one specific area. So the central nervous system is made of the brain and spinal cord only. That's it, the brain and the spinal cord. And the brain has three major areas. We have the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Now, the cerebrum is the big cauliflower part, okay? That's the largest part of the adult brain. That's what people commonly think of when they're looking at the brain or when they're talking about the brain. It's going to provide higher brain functions, and it's made of two lateral hemispheres. So it's made of a left side and a right side. Now, the general functions of the cerebrum is it's going to integrate sensory information. It's going to deal with position of body parts. It's going to coordinate skeletal muscle. It also deals with, for example, rational thought, all right? So it has ridges, shallow, deep, very deep grooves. Um, we won't go too much into what those are. But what we're really interested here with the cerebrum is not only do we have a left side and a right side, we have lobes. Now, if you're coming to me from the skeletal system, or if you've had the skeletal system, then you're already familiar with the parts of the skull. You know the frontal bone, the parietal bone, the temporal bone, the occipital bone. Well, if you know those bones, then you got a pretty good handle already on the different lobes of the cerebrum, okay? So, for example, you have the frontal lobe, which is what we're talking about in this video. You have the parietal lobe. You have the temporal lobe. You have the occipital lobe. And then, of course, you have something else in the middle, which we're not going to talk about in this video. So here's a quick bigger picture of the brain and you can see the different folds and grooves and depressions and all that good stuff, all right? So where is the frontal lobe? Well, the frontal lobe, if you take your hand and you kind of like, oh, kind of forgot something or, oh, I just realized something, okay? This is where your frontal lobe is located at. It is deep to the frontal bone. So it's underneath, it's deep to, it's, un, you know, deep and superficial superficial is towards the surface deep is towards more kind of the core of the body so this is deep to the frontal bone it is superior to your eyes so here are your eyes and we have an entire video by the way on the orbits the bones that make up the orbits and then above it is your brain so it's superior to your eyes posteriorly is the central sulcus otherwise known as the fissure of rolando and then inferiorly is the lateral sulcus, otherwise known as the fissure of Sylvius. So what is the functions of the frontal lobe? Well, the functions are higher intellectual processing. This is where your logic and your reason come in. This is your Vulcan part of your brain, if you're familiar with Star Trek, okay? Uh, this is where you have your rational thought, your clearer thinking. By the way, this area doesn't finish developing until your early 20s, which is why teenagers get so emotional and confusing to those of us who are older because they actually lack the areas responsible for rational thought. And some of you teenagers are out there going, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Um, if you could record a video and have a conversation with yourself five, ten years now in the future, believe me, you become a different person. The other function of the frontal lobe is concentration. It helps you concentrate, focus. It, it deals with motivation. It deals with planning, it deals with emotion, deals with judgment, aggression, and also controls the skeletal muscle. So if you look at this, and again, what we just said is it doesn't finish developing into your early 20s, it explains a lot about the teenage mind, okay? So also, in addition to looking at the brain by locations, by lobes, we can also look at it by function. So the cerebral cortex, from a functional perspective, we have what we call motor areas, sensory areas and association areas 
The motor area is found in the frontal lobe. It initiates and controls movement, just like we said a second ago with frontal lobe functions. So this is where you initiate control. So for example, I reach down to get my Winnie the Pooh coffee mug. I take a sip. This entire motion, this entire action was initiated by the frontal lobe. It controls the skeletal muscles to move that coffee mug up to my mouth and then take a sip. Also in front of the primal, uh, primary motor cor cortex is the premotor cortex and supplementary motor areas. And we're not going to go into too much detail because that really is a video for another day as well as the more detailed lecture series. But basically know where the frontal lobe is located at right here and also know the functions. Again, higher intellectual processing, concentration, motivation, planning, emotion, judgment, aggression, and control of skeletal muscles. So that's gonna conclude our quick look at the frontal lobe. Hopefully you're enjoying your studying out there. And until later, bye-bye for now.